Okay, for homework 12, 6, I want you to find this blank handout I gave you. Write down all this work and the words to show me that you were listening. So here we go. First one has you change all of these answers to decimals and add them up. The first word is blue. Blue. So 14.3 stays the same. 2 and 1 fifth becomes 2.2. Know how to use a calculator to change a fraction to a decimal. So yeah, that becomes 2.2. 4.4 stays the same. 6 and 3 fourths is 6.75. Know how to use that ABC button to get fractions. And then know how to use that PRB button to get fractions to decimals. And then add them up. So I got 14.3 plus 2.2 plus 4.4 plus 6.75 use your calculator to accurately add those up so 14.3 plus 2.2 plus 4.4 plus 6.75 gives me 26.65 sorry 27.65 be precise work on your precision all right here you are the ratio problem three to one to two and I'm giving you this number right here giving you 40 knowing that to get from 40 to this middle number going down dividing by this same two right there once I get that middle number though now use it in times by this three right here to expand it. So here we go. 40 divided by two gives me 20, which keeps that ratio the same. One to two is the same to 20 to 40. Now take 20 times it by three gives me 60, which is the same ratio three to one. Now I could add those up. 60 plus 20 plus 40, add them up. gives me 80 plus 40 gives me 120 all right next one 15 dogs and some cats so here we go they give you a ratio three dogs for every two cats and they give you one of the numbers number of dogs so to figure out number of cats you need to see what's going on right there and it looks like from 3 to 15, got to times it by 5. So to keep this ratio equal, take that 2 and times it by that same 5. And you will see it's got to be 10. 10 cats will keep that ratio 3 to 2. All right, this one. Plug in 6 for the letter N. Second word is maze. Maze. Here I go. 2 plus that 6 to the second power, which means 6 times 6, not 6 times 3, plus, or 6 times 2, 3 times 14, minus another 6 right here. Order of operations, 6 squared is 6 times 6, which is 36. So I'm going to leave everything else alone, leave this 2 alone. 6 times 6, 36. Leave this 3 alone. Leave this times alone. 14 alone minus this 6. Next, times right here. 3 times 14. So 3 times 14 gives me 42. Leave the rest alone. 2 plus 36 plus 42 minus 6. Now go left to right. 2 plus 36, 38 plus 42 minus 6. 38 plus 42 gives me 80 minus 6 gives me 74. All right, next one, unit rate. Always dollars per unit. So this is $100 for every 20 cans. If I divide that 100 First on my calculator divided by 20, it gives me the unit rate, which is five, not just five, not just five dollars, 
it's five dollars for every one can or you could write five dollars per can if you want because that is the unit rate five dollars per can i would rather you write it as a fraction five dollars per can all right here we go next perimeter means add up all these lengths but when you're adding them up you're adding only the x numbers together and then only the plain numbers together that's what you're combining together so if i combine all those x's together 2 plus 2 4 8 plus 6 gives me 14 of those total x's 2 plus 2 4 plus 2 8 4 plus 8 plus 6 14 if i add up those numbers in my calculator a little bit harder 6 minus 3 plus 10 that's going to give me 3 plus 10 going to give me positive 13 use your calculator if those positive negatives are getting you all right last one an inequality solve it the way you would normal so add four these go away bring down 3p more than or equal to 14 divide by three right there and that gives you p has to be more than or equal to at least 4.6 with a bar going over it that means three numbers more than 4.6 if i draw that on my number line would be right about here arrow to the right so it looks like five six seven would be three numbers purely in that good zone at least 4.6 4.6 or more so five six seven those are all numbers at least 4.6 or more than or equal to 4.6 the last word is michigan michigan write down this work show me the words good luck